program. For this one, we're going to be looking at percentage increases and decreases. So let's begin. Question six. Uh, percentage increase. That's important that it's a percentage increase we're after. When we start at 250 and we finish at 325. So the first step is to find the actual increase. Now take the time to write the words down. We've gone from 250 to 325, so we need to subtract 325, take 250. Now, if you need your calculator for that one, that's fine. Turns out to be an actual increase of 75. Whatever these numbers measure, 75 units of increase. Now we'll do our percentage increase. So it's the actual increase divided by the original value. We always divide by the original amount, 250. So that's going to be a fraction. Use my calculator. The numbers on this one are not quite so simple to work with. So 75 on 250 cancels down to 3 over 10. So I can write that in simplest form as a fraction. Now, 3 divided by 10 as a decimal is 0 0.3. And then we have to convert to percentage. Remember to move the decimal two places. I'll put a 0 there so I can see what we're doing. And we'll end up with a 30% increase. So there's two steps to this question. There is um, find the actual increase using the numbers, then find the percentage, always divide by the original amount. So let's make a note there. This is the original value, or the first value. And this bit up here was the actual increase. So that was calculated first. Let's try the second one. The second one says we need a percentage decrease. Same process. We're going to work to two decimal places. Population of fish in the pond goes from 1500 to 650. So there's my two raw numbers, 1500 and 650. Let's go. Question seven. I want the actual decrease. So there was 1,500 fish and it ended up down at 650 fish. So we could calculate that on the calculator. It turns out to be 850. Now our percentage decrease Take the time to write the words down. So we had 850. Now the original amount, go back and check the question, the original amount was 1500. We always divide by, we make our percentages fractions of the original amount. So we've got 850 over 1500. comes to 17 over 30. I'll just write that down first. So simplified fraction. Now I'll use my calculator this time. I'll press the SD button. 0 0.56 recurring. The 7 at the end is rounded off. It would be recurring 6s. So I'll write down the decimal version of this answer. 0 0.56 and I'll put a few extra. And now move the decimal two places we have a 56.6. They said to round off to the second decimal, didn't they? So uh, I'll just go back. I'll write a few extra sixes on that list. If I was to round off, that extra six would round that up to a seven. And there's my answer, rounded off, instead of as a recurring decimal this time. So read the question carefully each time. That one wanted rounding. 
Thanks for watching. That lesson's been about percentage increase and decrease.